This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a questions and answers video. I had uh, kind of let people know that I was going to do one of these type of videos uh, on social media. So uh, that's what I'm going to do today, and uh, I'm going to answer your questions. All right, guys, so let's get to the, uh, the questions. I, uh, I have them here. So uh, we'll start out, and uh, let's see here. Um, so this question, uh, why is my face always covered in all my videos? Uh, well, uh, the reason for that, and uh, like a lot of other YouTubers and things like that, uh, we want our privacy and, uh, you know, I do lead another life in the business world and people can be judgmental of owning an exotic car or just having a hobby of cars. And I just don't want to deal with that crap. Um, but with that said, um, once I get to 100,000 subscribers, I will remove my hat. I will remove my glasses or any other coverings. Um, so that's something to look out for. I will do that when I hit the 100,000 subscribers mark. And uh, we, we got a little ways to go, but we're getting definitely close. So tell your friends about this channel, stuff like that. Let's build it up, and then I'll do it at that point. All right, so the, uh, the next question here. Uh, Jay, what do you do for a living? Uh, well, I am a serial entrepreneur. That means that I try to start multiple businesses. Uh, my main focus uh, at the moment is internet marketing. Uh, that, that's one thing I specialize in. Uh, but I am planning some other things, uh, getting into the educational sector, um, online type courses, things like that. I'm working on that. Uh, also, I've dabbled in many other things uh, just to kind of get a feel for things. Um, but I'm always trying to come up with new ideas, ideas that solve people's problems, uh, and also just, uh, you know, trying to get ahead of trends and, and things like that. So pretty much I'm a serial entrepreneur. My main focus is uh, internet marketing. What made you pull the trigger on an exotic car? Uh, that's a great question. Um, so back in... 2012, I, uh, I'm going to kind of make a long story a little bit short, but uh, pretty much I had a near-death experience, and I kind of decided, and my business partner also at the time, he made the decision that, uh, you know, life is, life is just too short, and, um, you know, I was in intensive care um, in the hospital for over two and a half weeks, um, just a bunch of health issues that, uh, ended up happening to me and, and it just motivated me to work even harder. Um, but also I put value into life, meaning like, you know, I, I just realized life is too short. So, you know, you only live once, you know, might as well make the most of it. And, um, you know, I have wanted a Murcielago for, geez, I, I remember sitting there at my old job um, wanting a Murcielago, and I remember my boss said to me, and th this actually motivated me even more, because what, what ended up happening um, was I was looking through Car and Driver, and the first generation Murcielago was in there, and this was around like 2003 or four, around around there. And uh, he's like, why are you even looking at that? Because you're never going to own one. And that resonated with me. And it still resonates with me to this day. Um, you know, and that just drove me to want to get myself a Murcielago. So fast forward to 
2015, uh, I was just in the right place and, uh, you know, I was ready to, ready to pull the trigger on one. And, um, you know, I ended up finding this car on DuPont registry and, uh, the car was on the market for a while and, you know, it didn't have the original rims on it, but honestly, I just don't care. Um, but I was able to get the car for a really good price. Um, so I jumped on it and, uh, the rest is history. All right. So let's take a look and, uh, let's see here. How come you haven't gone to any car shows this year? Uh, well, I have been practicing social distancing and that means I am not stopping at shows, um, this year. Uh, we'll see how this whole pandemic and everything shapes up. Um, you know, so I'll be keeping an eye on things and, and, uh, but ultimately I'm just trying not to get sick, uh, with the risk factors that I have. Unfortunately, um, I cannot risk that. Um, so what I've been doing is focusing on organizing events like the COVID cruises that happen every Friday night although it's starting to get too cold, so it's gonna really suck not being able to do anything car-related uh, living here in New England until the, uh, until the spring. Um, and hopefully, and I pray to God, like absolutely I pray to God that this stupid virus just goes away. Um, that way I can get back to my life I can get back to all my hobbies and things that I love to do and enjoy. So, um, you know, I'm really, really hoping that we, us as a country can get back to normal, but also that I can get back to normal and attend events and not worry about people getting too close to me and, and stuff like that. It's also not good for business, um, you know, telling clients that, no, I can't meet with you or, or something like that. So hopefully that'll change. Um, in the near future. That's what I'm hoping. All right. Next question. Um, what will your next exotic car be? That's another great question. Um, so my next goal is to get myself a Pagani. Um, so I have been working my ass off. Uh, so I am eventually going to get myself to that point. Um, and I'm really trying to manifest that. So that's the next goal I'm going to work for. Um, I have no plans on getting rid of the Mercy Lago or anything like that. Um, but I, I want to take it to a hypercar level. So that would be the next car that I want. Okay. So the next question, um, what is the next performance upgrade planned for your Mercia Lago? Um, there's really not much else to do on this car um, other than the two-wheel drive conversion, uh, which is supposed to be easier on the clutch, uh, faster acceleration, and uh, also it knocks some weight off the car and um, less rotational mass and it will also make the car a lot more civilized at low speeds um, so that's something that hopefully in the near future I can get done and taken care of well that was a lot of fun doing this video today and uh, if this video gets a good response from you guys uh, then what I'll end up doing is I'll do a follow-up video so keep sending the questions and uh, if this video gets a great response, then I will do this again to answer any other unique questions people may have. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. So um, if you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we'll definitely have some more content coming out continuously. And um, thank you to all the people that have been following us and subscribing. Um, you know, I really appreciate you guys getting me this far. Um, you know, so let's continue to grow this channel, uh, share my videos. Um, I have all sorts of different types of videos on the channel. Uh, if you're new to my channel, um, 
so we have everything from exotic car videos to car show footage when COVID's not happening and uh, also um, how-to stuff uh, police stuff <laughs> um, like countermeasures things like that um, and also Panther platform videos because I'm a big fan of the Panther platform uh, from Ford uh, so be sure to check those videos out and um, You know if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a like if you have questions or comments be sure to comment down below This is Jay with car guys New England until next time Take care